I think the tutorials are half the battle. Um, it's, it's, it's very effective in terms of uh, um, just getting you, again, to focus on the uh, topic at hand, on the specific uh, aspects of the essay, and, uh, and so on. So I, again, I can't say enough about the process. It really reduced the stress level around here. I have to say that she was very skeptical to use essay doc. She couldn't believe something like that could solve the problem basically, and, uh, and allow her to, uh, to write an essay in a short period of time that was really, I mean, praised by her teachers, praised by her college guidance people, uh, and apparently been seen by uh, people in, in the admissions world uh, who have offered significant praise for, his, for these essays as well. Initially, she was stuck on just finding a, value, uh, a viable topic and a, and a story to tell. And uh, after watching, I think it was just even the first video um, in Essay Dog, she uh, decided she had already thought of this topic and, and several others and was trying to uh, sort of figure out which one worked and if they would work at all. And it really uh, enabled her to feel comfortable with the topic uh, at hand and, uh, and to really flesh it out and to get out of the out of that essay, everything that she needed to do to talk about herself and to make her into a uh, empathic individual. That's really what Essay Dog does, is it establishes, uh, creates uh, a level of confidence in the student, uh, and certainly in my daughter, uh, that she can do this, that she can write it, write uh, something that really comes out well, and so on. She just simply didn't have that confidence going in. Essay Dog is onto something here in that what makes a good essay is telling a story. Um, and that that's not necessarily the writing that students are learning in high school is how to tell a story. Um, but ultimately that is one of the things that makes a difference in an application because each of you have unique stories to tell, but how do you convey that? The ability to tell a story in an essay undoubtedly gives you an advantage in the application process. Again, this is a human process with admission officers who want to get to know you, who meet too many students and have too many applicants to actually get to know you. So the better you can tell your story in the application, the better edge you're going to have in the process. Writing is not a singular process. It is, it is yours, it is your own, but writing is a process. It's not a one-step thing. Um, so no matter what you're using, you should be having help with your essay. You should be making sure that your essay really reflects yourself. So whether it's essay dog or your teacher or a parent, you want someone to help you with the process um, because you should be writing and then putting it aside and coming back and rewrite it. And then after you've rewritten, then you're going to polish it and make sure that there are no typos and everything's clear and so forth. Um, but you, you want help with writing the essay. You want to make sure that it reflects you. You're too close to the topic. Um, you need other people to look at it and say, does this really reflect me? And is this really telling my story? So if there's a program or an application or um, something like SC Dog that can help you with that, that's great. The whole, the whole college application process is black and white, and I think that the essay is really the only time where someone could really add color to their resume, um, to their application. Ted, on the other hand, kind of tried to know who I was. He tried to understand the way I thought what I was excited about, what I wanted to do with my life, um, who I wanted to be, who I wanted to learn to be. Um, and you know, through a series of questions, he kind of gave me, kind of led me to this aha moment where I'm like, wow, this is what I need to write in my essay. This is who I want to show that I am. Um, and without that personal element, I don't think any of that happens. Teddy, Teddy cares, I mean, beyond, beyond the fact that he wants to see you succeed, he also draws kind of a level of personal success from that as well. He's like, wow, I help this person get into school and it adds some, sorts of, some, some sense of meaning, I think. And I think that's really showing in the way he cares. The way I got into the program was my teacher suggested it for me. And I was really happy 
to hear about it because I really needed a lot of help like with my essay formulating it. I had the idea that I wanted but I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to take it in. I needed a lot of guidance. On my first day I was kind of nervous but they set us up, they showed us a video and they told us about the process a little bit about how we'd be paired with mentors. I was so happy to get some information and some help from my mentor and not only that but then to hear back directly from them afterwards was amazing the follow-up was I mean like it was just like two people just talking it was very conversational I didn't feel any kind of pressure and it helped me feel comfortable enough to put my writing under like close critique I was open to criticism because I knew that I was coming from a really good place. Communication hasn't stopped. It's still strong and I still feel like the mentors from the program want to see me succeed and want to see me grow and have been able to get me this far. With SA Dogs and the, the program, I've been able to make it all possible. I've been able to write things um, and become a more confident writer write things that I feel proud of. I'm really happy to say that I'll be going to the University of Vermont um, on a full scholarship, a full ride. It was a great program. I would definitely recommend it to any number of my peers that may be thinking about college next year. And I'm really happy that I was a part of it.